Hello, my name is Sarah of Geotech Scientific, and today I am going to discuss the maturity method for predicting the early age strength of concrete. So what is it about the maturity method that interests engineers, researchers, and the construction industry? Measuring the early age strength of concrete is very important. The reason is that it directly affects the progress of the construction project. In most cases, it is the governing parameter in the speed of the construction. It can also affect the safety margins for moving into the next stage of construction. The strength is also of interest to the structural engineer. That is, to verify if certain elements have developed enough strength to be able to carry the next floor's load, as an example. Construction contractors, on the other hand, want to speed up their progress. They want to know how fast they can proceed to the next level. This can directly affect the time they open the formworks. In most cases, it is the governing parameter in the speed of construction. It can also affect the safety margins for moving into the next stage. What we know is that both time and temperature are crucial factors in the strength development of concrete. As the time passes on and the microstructure of concrete develops, the compressive strength of concrete increases. We also know that the curing regime can directly affect the strength growth in concrete. Concrete subjected to higher temperatures, or pressure as is the case of autoclave condition, can get to higher strengths in a shorter period of time. So, if we want to summarize in simple words, it can be said that the combined effect of time and temperature can be used to study the strength growth of concrete. One can expect that the age of concrete has a significant effect on strength. On the other hand, the temperature history during the curing process of concrete can affect the strength growth. Another key figure which is often considered in studying the strength growth is what's called datum temperature. This is the lowest temperature at which strength growth is observed. In 1949, Nurse proposed that one can correlate the strength development of concrete to the product of temperature and time. However, he did not account for the datum temperature effect. Also, he did not measure the concrete temperature. Instead, he measured the temperature of the curing chamber. In 1951, Saul introduced the term maturity, which was correlated with the product of time and temperature. He used the effect of datum temperature in his studies. The results of these scientific researches led to the famous maturity function that we use today known as the nurse Saul maturity function. For this purpose, the effect of time intervals with temperatures lower than datum temperature are removed. The function simply gives the area between the datum temperature line and the temperature history. Saul presented the maturity rule as the following statement. Concrete of the same mix at the same maturity has approximately the same strength whatever combination of temperature and time go to make up for that maturity. It is worth mentioning that the nurse sol equation is based on the very assumption that the strength gain is a linear function of hydration temperature. Another method that is used in maturity calculation is the equivalent age method. In this method, an equivalent age function is developed where the equivalent age represents the duration of the curing period at the reference temperature that would result in the same maturity as the curing period at other temperatures. Despite the fact that Arrhenius function is scientifically more accurate, the nurse sol function is more commonly used by concrete industry for two main reasons. Number one, the accuracy of the nurse sol function is adequate for most field applications. And number two, the nurse sol function is relatively simpler compared with the Arrhenius function. In order to use the maturity method for predicting the early age strength of concrete, we need to develop the strength to maturity relationships first. To do so, compressive strength of concrete should be correlated with the temperature history of concrete. The standard procedure to develop such relationships is well described in the ASTM C1074. According to this standard, 15 cylindrical samples should be prepared for compression test. Specimens should be cured in water or in moist room conditions. Specimens should be tested for compressive strength at different ages, 1, 3, 7, 14, and 28 days. At each time, two samples should be tested. If the results vary more than 10% from the average value, the third sample will be tested. 
The temperature variation should be monitored in the curing period. This can be achieved by implementing temperature sensors within concrete cylinders and monitor their temperature in a regular basis. ASTM C1074 requires the time intervals to be 30 minutes or less for the first 48 hours and 60 minutes or less afterwards. This will make it possible to calculate the maturity index, but before that, one should also determine the datum temperature. The procedure for calculating the datum temperature is well described in the standard procedure. When all the measurements are done, we will be able to develop what is called the strength to maturity relationship. Knowing the datum temperature and temperature variation history, one will be able to measure the maturity index. For each compressive strength point, the corresponding maturity index is calculated. The compressive strength will be drawn against the logarithm of maturity index for these data points. A linear regression is used to develop the equation. The A and B coefficients will be determined for the best fit. This equation gives the relationship between the maturity and the compressive strength. It can be used for predicting the early age compressive strength of concrete. In actual practice, one only needs to know the temperature variation history of concrete to be able to predict the comprehensive strength. ASTM C1074 has standardized the procedure to develop the maturity to strength relationship and strength prediction using the maturity method. Several concrete design codes, such as the ACI 318 and the CSA A23, accept the maturity method as a verified procedure in predicting the early age strength of concrete. This is basically useful when dealing with the opening of the formworks in the construction site. There are certain commercial devices in the market for measuring the temperature of concrete and the maturity index. Most of these devices, however, need sophisticated wiring in the structure and continuous maintenance, as these wires are easily subject to work, wear, and tear. Geotech Smart Rock takes the maturity measurement in concrete to an all-new level. Geotech Smart Rock is a wireless sensor which can be embedded in concrete. It will record and send the temperature measurements directly to the user's smartphone. A powerful application has been developed for both iOS and Android platforms, which can be used to monitor the temperature variations and measuring the maturity index. By knowing the maturity to strength relationship for specific mix, the application allows the user to predict the compressive strength of concrete right at the palm of your hand. While maturity method provides an easy to use procedure to predict the strength, it has certain limitations. The main obstacle is that the cylindrical specimens used in the lab for developing the maturity to strength relationships is not representative of the place in concrete. This can be because of the changes in materials, water to cement ratio, air content, batching method, and the list goes on. The other issue with this method is dealing with the high temperatures. When the early age temperatures are very high, it can lead to inaccurate estimation of strength at later ages. Another challenge in this practice is determining a reliable datum temperature. Using a datum temperature with the nurse sol function that is not representative of the concrete mixture can result in incorrect estimation of strength. In the next few slides, we will briefly explain how maturity measurement is done in an actual field practice. The temperature sensor is placed in different locations in the concrete element. The location is selected based on the vulnerability of the element to failure at the time of removing formworks. The measurements can get started as soon as the concrete is placed in the formwork. This is known as the pouring time. The temperature variations will be monitored during the curing of the concrete element. Based on the temperature history and by knowing the datum temperature, one can measure the maturity index at any given time. The maturity index can be used to predict the early age strength of concrete. For this purpose, you will need a maturity strength relationship for the mix that is used. This relationship can be derived from the method described earlier in this presentation. If you want to learn more about the maturity method, please visit the provided link or contact Geotech Scientific Support Department. Thank you for watching this presentation.